Coach Duhan, uh, did you get your your pom pom today yet? Not yet. Not yet. When's that? Uh, when Nate gets finished with this next session, I think he wants to go in there and work out again. He wants me to help him do some stuff, so I'll go help him out. He was benching today, right? That was yesterday. Yesterday, what did he get? Three hundred. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good for over double his body weight, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, when you come here and you know you guys come from Sulphur, Louisiana, right? You get to come up to the Northern Plains into South Dakota. How much different culturally is wrestling here to, you know, the South where you're at? Oh, it's tremendously different. I mean, that's what these kids live for, you know, and that's what we try to tell our kids all the time. I mean, down south during the winter, it's still warm. People get to hunt and fish the whole time up here. It's either work on the farms, play basketball, or wrestle during the winter. And a lot of these kids, they, they want to wrestle, so they do it, and that's what they live for. And it's just trying to get our culture to, to learn about that and to, to embrace it to what it's really about because wrestling is not something you can just do one or two months out of the year. It's, you know, you have to do it pretty much every day all year long to really get good at it. So you do football as well? Yes, football. How do, how do they complement one another, wrestling and football? Uh, I mean, tremendously. You get, you know, wrestling makes a better football player, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion. But uh, just the, the team aspect of a football, you know, football relations and then going into wrestling – uh, they they all sports work together. I mean, when I was in high school, I played four sports. I hate coaches that try to make a kid play just one sport or specialize in one sport. I mean, you're the majority of your really good athletes, you know, in high school and before they get to high school, play multiple sports, and that's what you look for. You know, there's a few exceptions. You have these phenoms out there that, you know, our uh, kid from Lafayette, Mondo, he's a pole vaulter. He's in high school. He jumps, like, over 19 feet. I mean, that's... Was going to be an Olympian. Well, exactly. He's already beaten Olympians in high school. I mean, he's one of the elite guys. I mean, that's different than a, you know, a kid that just wants to help out their school. In high school, you get to play sports for free, most of the time. Uh, so enjoy it. As long as you can make the grades and help out a team or help out your your buddy, play every sport you can. As long as you can keep your grades up and and do what's right. That's my opinion. Kyle Snyder comes up, and uh, you know, you got to talk to Kyle and talk weightlifting and talk to right. a program with him. Uh, Nate, you're obviously helping Nate with about three workouts so far. Right. What's it like being able to come up and work with these guys and actually like impart some knowledge on them? Oh, it's great, you know, and just, you know, letting them know what I know and then picking their brain about some of the stuff that they, they do because they're from Ohio State and we're working out with old school gym and different people like that. It, you know, it's great to kind of see what they do and compare it to what we do or what I do. So it's it's pretty neat. From here, where do you guys go from here? Back home. <laughs> How long of a drive is it from yeah, Salford, Louisiana? 20, it's about 20 hours. Yeah. And you're the only one driving? Right. So what do you do when you get tired? I just pull over, take a little power nap, and then keep rolling. So when do you guys get out of school and when do you start? Uh, we get out of school May 31st, uh, you know, you're normal, and then we'll start back, I want to say around August 18th. But, I mean, we'll start football in about three weeks. So... You know, for a coach, you never have a break. It is yeah. steamy down there right now. You should be 114 hit at heat index. What's it like coming up here? To the, you know, it's cool oh, up it's here. Great. It's nice, man, right? Yeah, it's great. It's like Christmas time for us. I mean, I get to literally. Work. Yeah, literally. I mean, it's it's awesome. I love it up here. So, you know, what do you think the kids get the most out of Legends of Old Camp? And why do you guys keep coming back year after year? Oh, just the... Uh, as different levels of kids that are here. I mean, the, kid, the IDA kids and the kids that live here are at a different level. And, but then you also have other kids that are coming here like us and that are learning. And the kids around here are just so great to, to help out. They, they just don't go in there and pummel your kids. Coach Pack and his staff do a great job with, you know, all the people they brought over the last, you know, eight or nine years that they've been here. We've been coming up here since, like, the first year they opened up. You know, we try to come up as much as we can so uh, it's it's just a great a great facility you don't have to stay in a, a dorm walk across campus it's maybe 100 yards from your dorm room to the wrestling facility I mean the videos have showed of the wrestling facilities you know it's great enough room I mean we got what 115 120 kids in there this morning and you still had plenty of room to you know to get accomplished what you needed to do you guys will be back oh always Right. And we'll bring them down sometimes. All right, for some craw crawdad and crawfish and crawfish, and <laughs> gator maybe. Oh yeah. All right, biggest gator you guys have ever killed. Uh, you had to kill it though. I had to kill it. It was thirteen six, but it was so old it 
was kind of shrinking in the tail between its eyes and measured 14 six. So as I was my dad's, and, and Katrina that my dad's brought house. that one up. Katrina brought it out of the. I believe so. I, you know, I mean, we grew up there fishing and swimming our whole life, and never saw nothing that big. I think after the hurricane, it kind of brought it up into that area. All right, you got anything else for me? Hey, you do a great job, man. Love you. Love what you're doing for the wrestling uh, community. Keep it up.